Okay, here it is, everyone. I said I'd update you on what's going on. I don't have a whole lot of time. It's about 11.36 right now. Court is at 3.30. <clears throat> and boy, do I got a lot to tell you. Um, the department is obviously scrambling their words. Reason being that they're not telling the whole truth. They're still counting him of immediate danger. <clears throat> and what we found out from our attorney is that they want to charge my husband felony charges. We don't know what they are, but possible kidnapping because he was supposed to be supervised with our son during donations. How do you how do you supervise a child when they're doing their job? But they're not sure yet. <clears throat> um, the other possible chance of non-supervision, whatever the hell that is. Um, here's the kicker part. Somebody called on him, as you know, that my son was dumpster diving at the back of Family Dollar. Well, according to Guardian Enlightenment, who is Tony, had a different opinion. He put in his report that my son, that's 13, autistic as well, was behind Family Dollar with a crack pipe. Where the hell did he got that information thinking that my son knew about drugs is beyond me. I was royally pissed at both of them for this. We got the police support this morning and they left so much out. It is ridiculous. They are literally scrambling everything that was it's in that report. They did not once mention that they spoke to my husband, the supervisor, and my mother-in-law in front of that depart in front of the youth ranch. <sighs> Luckily for us, that they had no idea about this, and this is what our attorney's going to do in court. They didn't realize that the store had security video cameras at all angles. Even two that are a direct shot from the entrance of the building. They have no clue. And there's also cameras in the back of Family Dollar in donations. My husband's supervisor that was there that whole time, surprisingly enough, but out of goodness of his heart, He's willing to testify as a witness in this ordeal because he was there the whole time this happened. I went to go see my son on Tuesday at the group home. He's doing great. He wants to come home really bad, which I don't blame him. He looked very tired. Next thing we know, we have a Black guy come in with dreadlocks. Really cool guy. Come to find out that he was assigned from the department to come work with my son four hours a day. So they had this guy in their back pocket and we could have used him for the past six months. And they held out on us. They were not helping at all. And then we find out that Guardian Enlightenment, Tony, visited my son there three days in a row. Talk about not communicating at all. I was royally pissed they're doing this to us. And we informed this person that was working with my son. He had no clue what was going on. They never informed him of anything. They, he didn't even know that this was even a custody ordeal with the state. They never said, shit, our caseworker has pretty much baffled everything, including the supervisors. But what they don't know is that the security cameras 
are going to say a lot because cops are just not filling in the gaps at all. The only thing they jumped to was that, yeah, my son flipped them off and then he took off. They did not once state in their statement, in the report, that he they pulled all three people in front of the store that gave my son the lack of supervision. And that's not all. The security cameras also show the cops being shown inside the building heading towards the break room. Yeah, talk about it. Um, and then about two days, actually the same day that we met, we saw our son. We're not the only ones that are suffering with CPS services. Apparently, a lot of families that showed up on the news that CPS is overstepping their boundaries. Literally, one happened in Orange County, Orange County, California. <clears throat> this mom was at home and these officers and a CPS worker just showed up at the front door and then just took her two children. No rhyme or reason. Just took them. And they literally fabricated the report on everything. And the only thing the supervisor had to say was, well, sometimes we get kids that just fall through the cracks. Yeah, they fall through the cracks, all right, because of your own stupidity. This mom had to wait and go to court and sue them for however much money. I can't remember how much, but it was a lot. And that same day, that night, I don't know what state it was or county, but another incident happened that CBS also overstepped their boundaries. This couple just had court that day. And then that night, the cops showed up claiming to take their children. After the judge said that everything was fine. And the CPS worker that was on the phone tried to fabricate everything that wasn't even true. Like a drug test failed and that wasn't true. We have a lot of CPS workers in the department that are overstepping their power and boundaries and fabricating paperwork that they shouldn't be doing. They are not upholding the oath of helping families to reunite. Instead, they're helping other people, more like pedophiles, thanks to fucking Joe Biden, to do it in a more technicality ordeal but going through the system instead this is nuts y'all this is crazy it's all going nuts and trump was not kidding and i'm talking about president donald trump he wasn't kidding when he says they will start coming after your children he wasn't wrong because they are they are literally the biden administration and every other person that stands behind him are literally taking our children they are taking our children putting them in the system on purpose and then shipping them out on boats. I cannot believe this is happening. I can't believe this is what America, America shouldn't stand for this. Parents need to be aware of what these people are doing. They're not here to help. They're here to divide and conquer. Literally rip families apart piece by piece. I was so blown of what Guardian Lightman was trying to pull. My son has always been taught to say no to drugs. Even at age three, he would go to Purple Sage Elementary School here in Middleton and they would have a dare a session and a drug dog that would teach him to say no to drugs. And yet he had the ball to fabricate everything. I don't know what's going to happen in court. All I just know is that we have more than we can ever imagine to fight against this. This is just crazy. I mean, the video footage is going to help a lot because it gets all angles of the front door, back, the alley, you name it. And to have a witness that's willing to testify on our son's behalf and our family's behalf, which is wonderful. But that, but our attorney got nine gigs, count them, nine gigs of footage of those cameras. There's no way in hell 
you can mistake those footages. It's almost literally impossible. <sighs> but other than that, I'm trying not to shake. She's going to ask for a continuance to gather more information. I wouldn't be surprised if she wanted us to show up a little bit earlier than normal. <sighs> All I can say is this whole ordeal is... It's... It's ridiculous. <clears throat> I can't imagine that we're not the only families that are going through it. And do I plan on taking this to the press? You're damn right I do. We plan on literally opening this wide open to the entire public. Because they need to be aware that the department cannot be trusted in any given point in time. Not if they're going to turn around and split families up when they're supposed to help reunite them. And become a better family than they were. Helping them find services and they're not helping at all. They're doing everything humanly possible to get more funding from the government. Robbing the government, mind you. And taking children away. And while the other sad news is unfortunately secret did die she died on a monday the cat i was nursing she was just too small and she just couldn't thrive we thought she was thriving very well but in two days she just didn't and at that point that's when we realized that my daughter's cat's daughter carrying incest so we're gonna have to get her fixed unfortunately but it's probably for the best but I'll keep it posted as much as I can on what happens in the court. I just hope and pray to God that there's a miracle because the government's office is still working on everything. Haven't heard anything yet. But we are definitely taking all this information to the press. We're going to throw it on the statesman. We'll even throw it on the news if we have to. But one way or another, we're going to stop them from destroying other families. So... If any of you are suffering the same thing that we are with CBS, with CBS workers overstepping their boundaries and everything else, do not be afraid. You're not alone in all this because we're also going through this and we will all stick together. And if we have to start a riot and a rally to stop all this, to save our children, then that's what we're going to do. We need to protect our children at any given point and any given cost. God gave us our children for a reason, not to turn around and have them ripped from us. So, I'll guys keep you updated and just hope for the best of us.